it's Allie, and in one of my last videos I showed you how to make some super cute and easy DIY capuchons, and today I'll be using those capuchons to make this adorable decadent box, so let's get started. So first of all, you will obviously need a box, and this is just um, a cardboard box I got from Michaels that I painted pink, and now I'm going to take a brown scribbles and use it to add some chocolate drip details around the edge of the lid. good idea to kind of map out what you want your design to look like before you actually set it in stone by putting the cabochons in the deco whip. So right now that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just kind of rearranging things until um, I get them to look how I want them to look on the finished product. For this project I'm going to be using this deco dam bling whip that I got from Hobby Lobby and I've never used this before so it's my first time trying it out. So I'm going to use that and a star tip, and since it doesn't have an attachment to actually screw in a tip right onto the bag, I'm going to use some tape to attach it. start piping so I guess as I show this part I'll give you guys my thoughts on this product slash mini review. The first thing I noticed about this deco whip is that I bought it in the color white but it is not actually a very clear white color. It's more of a grayish off-white so that was kind of disappointing. Um, it also does not hold its form well at all, as I'm sure you can see, I mixed it around, and it's very watery, it kind of exploded on me at a couple points, actually. And as you can see, the little um, designs are just kind of collapsing on themselves. I tried wiping off the tip multiple times, and nothing would make the details clearer. Um, it just does not hold its form as well as many Japanese-made Deco Whip brands. So now you can see my piping job looks really really messy, but I'm just going to try to make the best of it and add my cappuccinos and try to make this come together. And after you've set your major cappuccinos in place, you can add details with rhinestones or pearls. Now you're just gonna let it dry and you're done. Um, so this deco whip did take a while to dry. It took over two days or around two days to get fully dry before I could film this. Um, and just some thoughts once it's done. It did shrink a lot. Um, and I haven't had that experience with some like Japanese deco whip brands or maybe it's just the ones I'm using. It's still not a very pure white color. You can't tell that from the video. And on top of all this, this deco whip wasn't cheap. I'm pretty sure it was like six or seven or seven or eight dollars um, just for the little thing I use. And so I probably wouldn't recommend this. I would um, go on Etsy on some shops like Sophie and Toffee or Miniature Sweets and get your deco whip from there because it's cheaper and it's much better quality. So thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more adorable crafts. I'll see you next time!